am doing some organizational things in my room, in my beauty room. My beauty room is a mess and I feel like I'm actually running out of storage. And now heading towards the end of the year, I definitely want to do first declutters and uh, second organization. Maybe in opposite order. So there are definitely a few things that I want to do. First, I want to come up with organization, like a better organization system in my room that makes sense to me, that's convenient for me to use uh, for everyday usage because I also get ready in this room and also for filming, obviously. And um, I definitely am running out of space, even though I have been on a low buy last year and even this year, I've been really, really mindful with my purchases. However, my collection still keeps growing and I definitely need to have better storage and also declutters are coming. I will be ruthlessly decluttering everything, minimizing my collection, not necessarily minimizing, let's say I'll take those words back, but I wanna be a little bit more mindful of what I have, what I'm keeping, what's old, you know, things like that. So stay tuned for that, definitely. So declutters are coming maybe like in a month or so. Um, I think I'm gonna start them earlier this year. So I can't even show you my room right now because it's literally embarrassing. The floor is just scary to look at, stuff is everywhere. So I went to Ikea a few weeks ago and I picked up the new storage, like a smaller but a wider unit, possibly reorganize some of my palettes. I don't know, I will find the rhyme and reason how I'm gonna store everything. But long story short, I have a new unit to build and this is what I'm gonna do today. I apologize if it's really dark here in my room, but this is the storage uh, unit and I'm gonna unpack everything and I'm gonna try to build it. So, so I'm excited to build this. It's gonna take me some time to put everything together because there are six drawers. I need to get my electric drill and I'll get started and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have this organized. And okay, the box is done. The main box is done and I am sweating i am literally sweating because if you've never messed up the screws on ikea furniture you've never probably put up the furniture from ikea because i just screwed up two sets of screws don't ask me because i'm very excited to put this together and i was not paying attention their up close attention and in my defense some of these screws literally look the same or too similar okay i will send my complaints to ikea department of screws so, um, so I had to unscrew some things and then re-screw some things. So now I am moving on to drawers. So hopefully I will be done soon. Okay, guys, I'm literally sweating. I feel like I just ran a marathon and then did like a hit training. I'm so happy this storage is ready to go and the next step will be for me to organize it. I just need to shuffle some things around and then we are going to organize this together. Okay, guys, this is where I am right now and I am deciding what to do with the storage. I ideally want to have this new storage um, dedicated to my palettes. I have uh, two drawers now with my eyeshadow palettes. However, I have a seasonal basket now. That's my fall, my current fall eyeshadow palette wardrobe. So all those palettes are in a separate basket. So I think I want to keep them like that on top reachable. So that drawer is currently filled with eyeshadow palettes. And I also have eyeshadow palettes behind me on the storage, which some of them are like higher brands and luxury brands. I think I want to have them more handy here. And on the top drawer, I think I'm going to move this entire drawer of uh, face palettes that I have here on my vanity. I think I want to move them away and dedicate this drawer to something else. Maybe make it like my everyday drawer, like shop my stash type of thing. So I think this drawer could be useful for me uh, to be super handy and up close. I think I'm going to move all these into the top drawer there. This is what the drawer looks like right now. I definitely have a little bit more space. Plus I do have some other palettes that maybe like two or three of them, uh, they're face palettes that I'm currently using. They're in my shop, my stash rotations, or a few of them are new and I'm currently still testing them. So I kind of like how I see everything and uh, I still have a little bit of room to grow. 
So I think I like this. So in this second drawer, I think I'm gonna put my Huda Beauty palettes because I like to keep them handy and I have a good amount of them. Um, these are, I think, all my Huda palettes right now and I've decluttered some in the past and I have one more of the nude ones, the Nude Rich palette that is currently in my full wardrobe. So it will come here. And this is, again, this is just a rough sketch here. I just wanna have uh, these collection palettes uh, close by me. Then I have this whole entire storage that used to stand behind me um, in my filming area. I want to take all my Natasha Denona palettes also here close by me so I can see them. So these are the palettes that were sitting here in the storage and I definitely have more Natasha Denona mini palettes floating around so I will eventually bring them all here but I think I will just dedicate this to Natasha Denona. So for this drawer I think I might move my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes because I have a nice stack here. I might just do this. And I might move my Pat McGrath palettes also here. So I can just maybe keep this for now. Okay, I also just reorganized my eyeshadow palettes, my seasonal eyeshadow palette wardrobe from this like shapeless basket to this basket that I used to use on my shelf. And I think this is perfect. Like all my eyeshadow palettes fit here and I really like how it's looking and there is just enough space for my seasonal palettes. Okay guys, I so I just reorganized a little bit and this is what my area now looks like. I'm very, very happy with it. I still have a lot to work on and reorganize, but again, I will be doing uh, pretty ruthless declutters when I come down to that in a month or so. And um, this is my area. This is basically how I wanted it. I wanted my uh, lipsticks to be a little bit closer to me, that I can use them a little bit more often, and my skincare organizer is here, and my seasonal eyeshadow palettes. And here I have my drawers, so my face palettes, then I have my Huda, and then Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath and Anastasia palettes, some of them, and then I do have two bottom drawers that's still empty. So I just decided to dedicate one of the drawers for my most used and favorite lashes and my nails, my press-on nails. So here I have a lot of them um, from Salon Perfect. These are my favorite. I am on their PR list now, but I've used their nails years before and they fit me like a glove and I just absolutely adore how affordable they are and they have so many different styles. Like look at these. These are one of their recent ones and they also have really nice lashes. So I really have been loving these. This is a 653, the new dramatic styles. I recently used them in a video. They're really beautiful and they're not heavy at all. Um, I also have my impressed ones here, my poise and uh, no filter lashes. These are my very favorite. I also have this Ardell 110s. These are super natural. I usually cut them in half and use them as like half lash. These are really beautiful. And this is the rest of the stash. So I have a lot of beautiful, like blitzy, blitzy, very fancy nails. But this is not the most like natural looking nail, let's say. Um, I really love these ones. I can't wait to wear these uh, from Salon Perfect. Look at the style, I'm obsessed.